Listen everybody To the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day this is Daniel White III with the Second Coming Watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world. First up today, Iranian warships have sailed into the Mediterranean. According to CNN, Iran's semi-official Mir News Agency reported on Saturday that two Iranian warships sailed through Egypt's Suez Canal into the Mediterranean Sea amid heightened tensions in the region. The move represents only the second time such ships have crossed the Suez Canal since the Islamic Republic's 1979 revolution. The first time took place in February 2011, just days after Egypt's post-Hosni Mubarak government gave the green light to the passage, putting Egypt's new military leaders in a difficult position with its Israeli neighbor. It is reported that the two vessels, a destroyer and a su supply ship, went to Syria. Uh, secondly, today Hamas is basing surface to air missiles in Sinai for attacks on Israel. According to World News Tribune, Islamic insurgents have deployed surface-to-air missiles in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula for attacks on Israel. Uh, the Washington Institute for Near East Policy said Hamas has joined the Bedouin insurgents to establish Sinai as a venue for SAM SAM attacks on Israeli civilian and military aircraft. In a report, the Institute said the insurgency network was believed to have acquired a range of Russian origin air defense systems. A third today, Israel seeks tighter sanctions against Iran. According to the AFP, Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak called on the world to tighten sanctions on Iran before the country enters a zone of immunity against a physical attack to stop its nuclear program. He told a news conference in Tokyo, we have to accelerate the pace of imposing sanctions. The world should not ratchet up the sanctions, or rather the world should ratchet up the sanctions before the Iranians fully enter this immunity, immunity, immunity zone. Pardon me. Barack has often used the phrase zone of immunity uh, zone of immunity to mean a point where Tehran's nuclear program becomes invulnerable to physical attack. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy related news at www.secondcomingherald.com. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord in Matthew 24:42. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says in John three sixteen how 
how you can get ready in this verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him, Jesus Christ, should not perish, perish in hell, but have everlasting life in heaven with God. God loves you so much that he sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins. He is your substitute. He was crucified for you so that you can go free. All you have to do is believe on him. The Bible says very clearly, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're willing right now to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and to receive him into your heart, Pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, for Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. The best way that I know how I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, truly, come into my heart and save my soul and change my life forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. God bless you, dear friend, for doing uh, the most important thing you will ever do in your life. You will never regret it. You got to get your business straight. It's coming.